Hello everyone, Deadeye here, back with Veronica X. We finally defeated Steve last episode. It was tough. I can't... I didn't include the, like, hours of attempts, but it, it was a lot of work. Um, anyways, um, here we are in a replica of the mansion. So naturally it has their, um, their weird bedrooms in it. I need to somehow, um... Open up that door downstairs to go around. It seems too obvious. I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need those... Jewels. What is this? Code Veronica report. Hey. After many... Oh. Yeah, right. After many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. I then sampled uh, the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, and implemented it into a fertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What uh, I didn't expect was that twins, a boy and a girl, were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. Oh. However, the girl had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She's exactly what I had been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names. The girl's name Alexia, the boy's name Alfred. I am certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory. You know, and you can take a look at that and see that he gave her his name. But, uh, Alfred not. Oh, more healing. That's not a good sign. Oh, downstairs ammo. Why is there pistol ammo? Okay, so this goes into... Oh, does this go into Claire's area? Um... That, that door that's locked. Okay, we're not gonna go right now. There's stuff down there. Um. Let's see here. Uh, we got a blue thing. We got ammo. That's I'll take it for zombies. Uh, should I go back to the other room with the... Oh, shotgun shells. It seems, appears to be some kind of control panel. I know, I want the shotgun shells. <laughs> Should I go back? Um, there's a the large capsule. What? Can't open this with my hand. It's a it's a wing. It's a dragon wing. I need that. The button on the panel. Push it, yeah. I'm absolutely going to need this. Um, I need to go back. I need to go back. Yeah, I, I, I'm afraid of the backfill. But clearly I need to go back. I need, um, an item box. Wait, wait, wait. Claire's area has an item box. Doesn't it? Yeah. Right? It's an item box, not a save room. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm, I'm afraid of backfill. That's why I don't want to go back uh, that way if I don't have to. But I'm gonna need to. It's... It seems too obvious, doesn't it? Don't tell me the tentacles come back. Alright, cool. They don't come back. I'm not even gonna go try and fight Claire right now. Uh, Alright. Oh, I can get the stuff this time. Okay, cool. Um, I don't need this. Is there some ammo in here? I don't even remember. I need to put... Okay, I need, I need some organizing. <laughs> put all that there. Put this there, I guess. Where's the other ink ribbons? Uh, I guess I never... I guess he has all the ink ribbons for some reason. Um, Alright, let's put the uh, shotgun on this. Grab these two packs of grenades. Since I don't have the Magnum, the grenades are my heavy-hitting weapon. I need them. Um, oh, we're fighting Alexia again. Uh, I really don't need the pistol, but I'm keeping it because I want to save shotgun shells for any heavies. Any Stretch Armstrongs or something. We haven't seen any, really, haven't we? Or uh, Stretch Armstrong or Frogman. Um, 
All right. I'm gonna go look in their room. First. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go look in their rooms first. Uh, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I need to go. I do need to go forward. Yeah, I need to go forward into the tentacle hallway. Um. That's where the door was. Um, all right, pick up these herbs also. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. I'm really socked. Socked? I'm really socked. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I'm really socked that uh, she only took um, a couple of rounds of grenade launcher. I was under the impression from what I was told that I was going to need the magnum. Or maybe maybe not that's the impression it was use the magnum. Okay, nobody in here. It's their bedroom, yeah. As the... Look, pan up. Is this is the thing above still there? Yeah, I had a feeling this worked because the door on the other side was a one way. I need to inspect the room some more, but. Ah, this one has the thing. Music box again. I guess I'll open the door. Yeah. Um. Oh. Okay. So that's where it is. Okay. Is the other one over here, too? Or do I just need the red one? No, they're both here. Okay, yeah, I need them both. Um. Now how do I do that? I'm gonna go back and inspect the door. Um, Cause I, it says biohazard symbol, doesn't it? Is that the door that the biohazard symbol? It's been a bit, I don't remember exactly. It's locked, a biohazard symbol's carved by the keyhole. I really don't know. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, well, regardless, I'm going to need to have the power off. So I might as well go turn the power off. Now. Um. Which is, um, this way. Cross your fingers. Backfill is not bad. Because this does oh. the front door here has to unlock. I know the back door didn't, if I remember correctly, but the front door has to. This would have been a perfect opportunity to put, put monsters. It's been so long since you've been here. <laughs> of course, you don't want to violate that. At least at this point in the game series, I don't think they want to violate that. Yeah, so that back door is locked. I can't go in that room. And so is the... Um, so is that elevator. That door's locked. So is that door still locked? I, how? I don't know, and it's annoying. I want to take, um, do I want to take all these green herbs? Do 
I want to make a big one? I guess so. I don't have any red herbs. I don't feel like any red herbs are coming anytime soon. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I don't need the pistol, period. I have 50 rounds of this, and I'm assuming since they're explosive, they're gonna kill um, zombies pretty quickly if I run into any regular zombies. I'm gonna need that. Um... Should I make a blue mixed herb? Probably not. Um, double check what we have in here. Um, these I need, yep. Um, that's it. Oh, look at all these blue herbs. One green herb. Okay. Can make a, I can make a level 2. What are the chances I get a red herb at some point, though? I got inventory space. I'll decide later. Um, I guess I need to go and find Claire. <laughs> um, I can't... I don't know. Um, what else to do? There's literally nothing else to do, so. Um. Move forward. Yeah, let's move forward. If you run, you gain one. But if you move forward, you gain two. Uh, hopefully I find my sister. Uh, it's over here, right? No! No, it's in the other door. Dragonfly wings. Someone's gonna have... Have we seen where we need to put that yet? I don't think so. But clearly we need the key as well. Right? We need Because we need to do the opposite of what we did. Um, We probably need to... We have, probably have the dragonfly key. Put the wings on it. Just plop it somewhere. Oh, she's sad. Claire? Is that you, Claire? Uh, are you locked inside? Chris? No. The door won't open. I need to do steroids to get hey, stronger. Is Steve with I'll you? see you in six games. <laughs> yeah, and he's there. Steve. <laughs> Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? <laughs> no, I can't. Look at your map, it's red. <clears throat> oh, only I gained a hundred pounds of muscle mass. There should be a self destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, ah. the electronic locks might be deactivated. This is why she doesn't. You know, when this game came out. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that look so silly? Oh man. <laughs> Just shoving the self destruct instructions under. Uh, I don't know why that looks so silly to me. <laughs> okay, anyways. You know, when this game came out, she might actually. You might have actually thought she dies here. Because <laughs> you, don't, you don't see her for another two games after this. It's another like 10 years almost. What do you mean? Something seems to be caught inside. Can we see what it is? It's a security key card. A security card was among the files. It released the lock. Wait, where, where am I taking this? Fuck. 
for the self to, to release the lock of the self destruct. Uh, was it up here or was it in the other side? Oh, this door don't work. <laughs> What's up, this? Nice little pan over to the dead guy there. You see it a few times now. Oh, there's gonna be somebody here to shoot. No, this is some big hero music. Oh, the hive's gonna explode or something in it. Uh. Oh, this is where it is. I thought I had seen it. Okay. Can I put them in place? I'm clearly missing the middle bit. No, I, I probably need to combine them first. Where am I supposed <laughs> Actually, where am I supposed to take this security key? Guess. I have no idea where. I guess back in this room? With all the computers? Control panel? No, yeah, because this just controls the thing here. There's a first aid spirit in that corner. Okay. Guess we spent a long time running around with this guy. And then he didn't find anything. So we just looked up the answer. Um, this is the key for the room in it, yep. Alright. Yeah, I... I don't know, I, I looked around that room and that wasn't... How many desks in this game <laughs> had nothing in them? You know? Uh, oh man. At the end here, this is... Uh... Alright, we can go... Oh, I don't have enough space. I just realized. I need... Ah! Be right back. Oh, wait. If I disconnect so I can just... Oh no, I, yeah, the door is locked. Be right back. I'm assuming it's gonna discard the key, right? Yeah. So that'll give me the two jewels, which will be enough. Space, and then presumably the box is gonna open up to... Um... Wow, no backfill at all here. This is weird. After it's been so punishing. This is when you can be punishing. I have a lot of ammo. <laughs> More punishing, I should say. Uh, whatever. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm guessing I need the dragonfly key thing. I'm, I'm presuming that's where we're going towards. This game's difficulty is very weird. Have we had any difficult boss fights? Once? The Albanoid was, uh... Oh! The Albanoid took a few hits, mostly because, um... <laughs> my words, right? Uh, mostly because it was hard to shoot, you know? But, like... All, of, all the other bosses have been, like, two hits. 
Yeah, yeah, I finally get to use this thing. Um. Mm, whatever. No frogmen or anything, or stretch Armstrongs, just. Eh. All right. Over here. Very unique door. I like it. This little bit of the mansion's kind of interesting. Thank you. I don't get to see the face on this side. <laughs> Could be up here. Whatever it is, I hope it's weak to fire arrows. Oh, this is different. It's a boss room. Oh, there it is. There's a jar there. It's a pis pistol ammo! Pi <laughs> I'm a little mad that it's pistol ammo. Is this a blue and a green, or is this just a... Green. I can combine these two. Alright. I have so much healing. It's hilarious. They don't backfill anything, really. <laughs> now I have a lot of healing, because I have, I think, a whole nother one in in the, um... Nothing useful here in the, um... <laughs> storage. Oh, something popping in. Through the window. Like... You could have put a frogman in the hazmat area. Uh, cool. Really, nothing popping into what man. All right. Um. I guess I go save. I should go save. This feels like the end, doesn't it? Um. I need to go to the item box, though, to get a save. Oh, wait. Wait, do I have space? Wait. <laughs> wait, do I have space? Whoa, music. Whoa. Uh, which one is it now? That's the save room. The item box is the blue one. Right. Need to go here. Um... Grab the, uh, the thing. Um, ink ribbons. Then come back, save, and then go back through here again. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Let's be honest, and the boss is probably going to take... I have a green, don't I? <laughs> the boss is probably going to take two hits from my grenade launcher. Or it's, if it's like the other games, it's going to be a gimmick. Someone's going to toss me a uh, rocket launcher. I can heal. Um, is this going to take me out of caution? I'd like that too. Yay! Nope. <laughs> Maybe if I combined it with the blue herb. I don't- I should probably not even have the shotgun on me, to be honest. Um... That's fine, we're done. Uh, yeah, I actually, I say that, but then again, Steve... Steve, uh... Was a one hit in the yellow, so... Uh... Really shouldn't say that.
kind of wish we shot this bad person with a cannon. <laughs> it's the only, like, ridiculous thing they haven't really done yet. We've had rocket launchers, we've had big magnums, we had uh, Goss rifles or whatever that was. Just shoot them with an ancient cannon would be pretty funny. Uh, wouldn't it? I don't need to kill you. I killed you for sport. Is there anyone around the corner? Nope. I guess I could drop off the... Uh, Wait, what? There's a first aid sprayer. <laughs> Is it on the ground? I can't even see it. I just missed. <laughs> I thought the box. I thought that silver box was the was the thing again. The uh, I thought that silver box there was the item box. Ah, uh, whatever. Hey, you can see how many how many horrible horrible saves I've required to. Beat this guy. Because I'm a bad player. Sure, why not? Where is this? This will bring me up into... Oh, use now. It's not a discard. Okay, well, it'll bring me up to a... Uh, fine, anyways. Okay, so where am I going? I need to go back to the tentacle area. Oh, man! If only you put your, your boxes next to each other, video game. Jeez. I guess they don't expect you to do all this running around and just go towards the goal, but you know, it's like it's my first time through. I, I, I who knows? I can run into another Steve boss and <laughs> you know, at any time. Ah, screw it! I'll leave the eye to the ink ribbons on me. Did these guys break out of jail yet? Did I go the wrong way? I did. Nope, still in jail. Alright, hey, wait. Oh. I'm gonna put the grenade launcher on me, even though I hate it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on me. All right. Hey, finally. Let's see what happens after I do this. You've unlocked the door. Oh, okay. I was expecting Alexia to just show up and be like, "Rar!" Oh, is there a bad guy here? Oh! I don't think I've mentioned it yet in this Let's Play, but I am really happy to be fighting zombies. Again. Not black goo monsters or anything, just zombies. There's a herb there on the ground. Man, there really wasn't a lot of red herbs in this game. There's like three, four. There's another herb up here. You put the security guard in the card slot. self destruct safety lock release system. Please enter the security code. Am I supposed to know this card? <laughs> A little dumb, but all right, I get it.
Yay! Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that poor zombie down there. Oh no! I'll take that, I guess, in case I need it. Or whatever happens. Um. And I'll take this one too. Oh, she's gonna jump at me here right as I get out, isn't she? And I need to go get my sister. Alrighty, let's do it. Oh no. Hey, what's up? Come on, let's get out of here. There it is. The tentacle came out of nowhere. There's no. It's just cut. I mean, it's just cut at the the edge where it breaks through. Oh no. Ew. So you want to evacuate too, huh? All right. Babe, I got 50 explosive arrows. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Turn the key clockwise simultaneously on 3. Oh, it's that kind of launcher. I thought it was like a rail to launch something into space. Ooh. Ooh, that looked amazing. Oh, please give me a good a good shot of this so I can use it for the thumbnail. Hi. <laughs> Don't just stand there. I'll keep her busy. Just go for the emergency elevator. Chris, but I can take care of this. Just go. You have to make it. Don't die on me. No. All right, cool. Timed boss fights. Nope. Fire. Oh, no, my sister. Leave her alone. What? <laughs> okay. Okay, you're evolving. Ooh. Cool. Gross as all hell. Okay, good. Jeez, I was about to lose it if that was somehow the finish. Grab this thing. Energy is being charged. Lock is released once the charge is complete. Hey! Stop that. Stop, stop. Ow! Guys! These little tentacle things are kind of lame. That's it? I, <laughs> I hit the inventory button right as that happened. I got a little confused. Jeez. Alright, we got another transformation? Yes! Oh yeah, this is above that bug infestation down below. Yeah, in my camera! Silly little trick. Oh, yes. Oh, a flying boss. Cool. Uh. The Linear Launcher. One moment, please. Ooh. Anti-BOW Linear Launcher, an advanced weapon to develop to handle BOWs. Infinity Ammo. Oh, it's it's like the sniper. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh, no. Please. Not like this. Not like this. Come on.
Ooh. Ooh, this is bad. I like how she barely does any damage. Oh, um, what's my status? I might die here, because this doesn't seem possible to aim and hit her in time. I think I'm just hoping for a lucky shot. Oh, speaking of lucky hits, there it is. Wow, that was really bad. That's that's the worst of Big Gun. It's cool looking. The effect ain't, but the cool. It's the actual. Ooh, audio there. What the heck was that all about? <laughs> really. Move. <laughs> going on <gasps> zombies in my resident evil it's more likely than you think oh where the heck did Wesker go Turns out that Alexia's work wasn't much of anything. So now the only thing left is revenge. Let her go, Wesker. You don't want her. Fine. Claire. Should have kept that anti BOW launcher. Today's a good day. Oh, we're in this area. Ew. Wait, weren't we like six floors down? I have Steve to work with. What? Steve. In his body, there's still a little T Alexia virus. Steve should be a good specimen. Maybe he'll come back alive just as I did and be able to see your sister again. Nope. You freak. Don't you touch him! I'm sorry, dear heart. We're doing this again. I have to do this. Remember your promise. I'll end this once and for all. Say hello to my comrades who are killed. <laughs> I don't know where you get your confidence, Chris. I wasn't expecting this. This has to be, oh, this is totally something from uh, the, the X version of the game, isn't it? Was it? Actually, if you told me Wesker wasn't in the original version at all and he was only in the X version, I wouldn't be too surprised. Okay, I thought we were actually, I don't know, maybe, the, I don't know, I'm confused. I need to... Alright. Wait a minute. Are we, are we doing this or not? <laughs> no, okay. It's all cutscenes. We're not actually fighting. Okay. This might have been in the original then. I don't know. Ooh! I really should go look up the changes or the differences. Animation's really nice. Oh, there's a submarine down here. But just look at the power I've gained. 
I have a submarine now. I am greater than most mortals who don't have submarines. beams that'll stop Wesker once and for all oh maybe not <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly fine. Nice try, Wesker. Pipe. Oh, we'll have to fight another day. Oh, your face ain't looking too good. Until we meet again. In Resident Evil 5. This is a lot of cutscenes and uh, cinematics for the end of this game. Very premium. Bugs, no! Oh good, they're being treated the way they should be. Just stop there at hey. Chris, promise mm -hmm. me. Please promise that you won't leave me alone again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Claire, but it's not over yet. There's still something we've got to do. Oh, ill. Mean. Yeah, it's payback time. We've got to destroy Umbrella. Now, let's finish this once and for all. See you in Revelations 2, I guess. Kind of gross. Oh, and there it is. That's just how it ends. Okay. That cutscene at the end felt different than the other ones, so. Okay. I've been thinking about this moment for a while now. What do I say? Um. I did not like this very much. <laughs> there. I said it in such simple terms. Um. I want to say some positives about the game. First of all, obviously, if you have somehow got here without knowing, I'm playing the PS4 version of Code Veronica X. I don't know what that means for changes for the original version. Okay? In terms of hd and additions and whatnot. This is really loud. I'm going to take my headphones off. Okay. The positives. Um, graphics are really good, even nowadays. And I'm going to point that out because a lot of the things I'm going to say in the negative section, a lot of the um, hand waviness is, oh, it was good for its time, and I don't think so. We'll get to that. Um, graphics are really good. Um, the 3D environments, really well realized. The texture work, really good. The zombies, actually, the regular zombies look really good. Um... The camera, 
I don't particularly like, you know, the corner camera and the, the hand controls. We'll get to that. But the camera's improved because the way it, like, follows you along in some areas because it's a 3D environment, you know? And in a few areas, it'll change locations, but it'll do so with, like, a... It won't do it with a, a cut, a very jarring cut. It'll kind of move a little bit. Very good improvements. Um, the story. Actually, very good. The, the characterization's not always on point, but it's really nice to have some more of the meaty bits to the story, especially, you know, there's not a lot of the early stuff, so it's it's nice to feel some of that. Um, the characterizations. Um, Steve's bad. St Steve, if Steve was made nowadays, he'd be cancelled. <laughs> he's creepy. Um, he's, he's, excuse me, he's not creepy in like a horror movie way. He's creepy as in I don't want to be left alone in a room with this person. Um, could he use a little bit more of him story? If if we got rid of that, we could use a little bit more of his story and some time together. It's I think maybe it would have been better if this game did have him as like a permanent companion. I don't know why they had him just running around on his own. Um, the Alexander Alexia twist, fun, nice. Um, not sure how I feel about his his kind of effeminateness, but. The androgynous thing and the 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 the, the wig and the the reveal, really good. I liked it a lot. Um, sadly, I think that's kind of where we end on the positives. the The music and the sound effects. The music probably fine. I would say the music's above average. Um, the sound. I don't know if it's just because of the era is not very well. Um, balanced i guess i don't know how to say it. it's loud often and it's hard to hear a lot of what's going on i'm assuming that's just more of a a, a hangover from its from its era now the negatives let's get to it um incredibly unmemorable unmemorable uh, locations nothing pr the only interesting bit of location was this <laughs> this little extra bit of the mansion with the two rooms um did not like any of that. Um, backtracking, backtracking, pointless backtracking. I don't mind the fact that they, instead of having one set area where you run around and you move, and you move, and then you come back to finish areas off, like in the classic games, I don't mind that you're running around back and forth between, you know, the three areas or so. The, the problem is there's exactly zero reward for doing so. There is almost no hints for what you should be doing or where you should be going. Um... It's all fetch quests. It's, oh, there's a door that's locked here. You need to go into the other side of the facility, or the other facility, grab the key for. It. Oh, inside that room is a key for a puzzle to the other other side of the facility. It wasn't particularly interesting at, at, at any point. Um, the tank controls. In 2000, when this game came out, uh, tank controls were a mistake. Y you should have known better. And it's that simple. There, there's no... Oh, it's classic, and that's okay. No. The difficulty. Let's let's talk about it. Um, weird. All the bosses were easy. What's up with that? <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, but the uh, resources difficulty, especially around that Steve area where you saw me. Very big mistake. That is obliterating points off the score of how bad that was. Just assuming the player had enough healing there. Oh, look, look, they're all are having a good old time in Meat's Pool. Huh? Is that what that said? Oh, it probably means poultry. <laughs> Just eat Meat's Pool. Um, yeah. Um, as someone who's been only playing the recent um, Resident Evil uh, for a while now, it's very nice to fight regular zombies again. Um, but um, enemy design... Uh, the, let me not say design. Um, because a couple of the boss designs, you know what, a couple of the mutations and whatnot was actually a positive. Pretty impressive, cool stuff. But, um... Stretch Armstrong and... Uh, fro well, frog bands are always classic, so it's nice to see them. Surprising to see no lickers. Um, but, um... 
weird that they just kind of vanish here on the Chris Antarctic side of the place after a little bit anyways um could have probably used like one more enemy variety it would have probably gone a long way in improving the encounters but overall the, the difficulty is incredibly unbalanced and it's it's unfair in a lot of spots along with the camera and the tank controls thing enemies hiding behind your view is unfair and at this point in 2000 they knew better um the handful of enemies that we didn't that weren't targetable until you were in their camera view of course another unfair thing the game teaches you a lot that clearing out zombies is pointless because the backfill will be instantaneous and it's been a bit since I played one but I don't believe any backfill was instantaneous I believe it was all kind of on a timer and that's what made it better the fact that it was instantaneous meant that there was you you get this habit where you feel it's not worth actually killing anything because they will just punish you for it and we saw how much hit points I lost it's, it could have very easily been unable to continue that Steve area without having to do a lot of back well, not backtracking, but re redoing a lot of... Loading a lo older save and redoing a lot of a lot of area. Um, this isn't... The story stuff, the graphics... Probably brings this game up a little bit for me. It's probably not lower than 6. Um, uh, 6 is an abysmal slog through nothing. This is close to it, though, because there is a lot of walking for nothing, but not like six. Um, oh, I guess I should mention one thing before I get to the end. The weapon's sad. Very sad. It's just a sad sack of nothing. Um, not being able to get the magnum, kind of a bummer. But, like, the the bow and arrow, it's disgustingly bad. <laughs> it, it, well... It, it should you should have probably been able to get it earlier it seems like you like you might have been able to and like without the um the mp 100s but then they're like well we got to give the, the the player a lot of stuff at the beginning so let's move this further along i feel maybe they should have got that sooner did spend a lot of the beginning of the game without a boss fight which was another weird thing um yeah Oh, I've spent a lot of time talking, actually. Um, yeah, probably worse than 6 for me overall. Or, excuse me, better than 6 uh, overall. But uh, it's a little bit closer than they would like. I am happy to have played it. I've said it. I don't know if it might be somewhere I cut. I, I feel people were simply wrong um, in the how much praise this game got in its time. The graphics, I think, did a lot of that work because, like, it's very well-realized 3D graphics. In the time, there wasn't a lot of that. Um... I think people might have just been riding a high on incredibly great Resident Evils, and um, this one including a lot of interesting details about the, the origins of Umbrella and the story. Kind of glossed over some of the poor choices in the other areas I mentioned. Um, I am happy, of course, that I finished it. This all this leaves is uh, 8, uh, which I'll get to. I, ha I, I bought it recently when it was on the Steam sale. Um, I don't know when when any of this is coming out, so because I gotta do. Um, I'm recording this before Dead Space, but I'm pretty certain I'm gonna do Dead Space. Um, probably before this goes up. Um, yeah. So those are my general feelings. I don't know if you want to sound off below on how wrong I am and the fact that this is actually one of the best games ever made. Go right ahead. I've I've heard that and I find it to be silly. I think also a part of that is that I think the original console is the Dreamcast, and Dreamcast didn't have a lot of great games. Sorry for Dreamcast fans, but in my understanding of its catalog, I've played, I think, one Dreamcast game ever, and I don't remember. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Um, from over the years, the feelings I've got about it is that its library wasn't great. It had a couple of really good standouts, is what I, the feeling I get. But anyways... Let's not go there right now. That's not the point of this video. Um, this is the end of Code Veronica. We almost didn't get here because of the the difficulty in the, the fight with Steve. Um, but, yeah. Perseverance got me here.
Uh, Perseverance probably got you here too. So I do thank you if you if you make it to the end here. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, do please subscribe. Daily uploads on this channel. Let's play is 3 p.m. Eastern time. Alternating. But that's it for me today. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now. This is going to give me a report at the end like they'd normally do. Congratulations, ranking E. It's bad. I didn't know rankings went down to E. <laughs> battle game! Why does it just say battle game? What? Whatever.